So where do we look at these uh, atomic energy levels? You can look it up from uh, Atomic Spectral Database from the NIST, this website right here. Okay, and so let's take a look at that. Uh, Web.nist.gov. Web what was it? Just do a search for atomic. Just Google uh, atomic spectral database NIST, okay. and you'll find it there. And once you get to that website, you can just select levels here if you want to see what the allowed energy levels are. We did this in the lab already when we did the atomic spectral lab. Uh, but that one we were searching for lines. If you know the lines, then you, if you have the experimental lines, you can search for the atomic energy levels responsible for it. Right? So let's just look at the atomic levels. Uh, if you're interested, for example, in the atomic levels for sodium, you just type Na and then the Roman numeral 1 for the atom, Roman numeral 2 for the single ionized, like Na+, plus, you put Roman numeral 2, Na2. So we're going, put, we're going to put Na for sodium, Roman numeral 1. And you can specify whether you want your units in reciprocal centimeters or electron volts. Let's say I want it in electron volts. And then you can retrieve your data here. Click on this button. And th these are your these are your uh, energy levels for your sodium. So the ground state of sodium Electron configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6. It just gives you the last part of it. And then 3s1. You'll notice it's a doublet s. Okay. And a lot of possible j values for doublet s would be j1 half. And that's the ground state. So by convention on, the, on this website, the lowest energy is always assigned as 0. Okay. And you have doublet p1 half and doublet p3 halves. That's 2.1 electron volts, 2.102 electron volts for the doublet P1 half, and the energy of the doublet P3 halves is 2.104 electron volts. Okay? And then if you have a 2P6, 4S1 configuration, again, you have another doublet S, and that, that's your first, ex okay, so this is your second, third excited state. So your first excited state is doublet P1 half, the next one is doublet P3 halves. Okay. And your third excited state would be with the electron in the 4s orbital. It's a doublet S one half and it's 3.1913529 electron volts. So that's what you need to do to look up uh, energy level. 